All right, welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to the Chupacabra Tutorials channel. I'm your host, Larry, and today we're going to be taking a look at an AI tool called Conch Video. And if I hover over here, it is Conch Video, a product of Minimax, which is a new in development AI tool to generate from a text prompt a realistic looking video, and it's coming from a company out of China as I'm sure you could probably guess from the fact that the text at the top of the page here is in, I believe it's Mandarin. And I've, I've run it through Google's little auto translate so I could actually read everything. So basically based upon whatever prompts you give it, it's supposed to generate an interesting video that tries to make more sense and look more realistic than prior entries into this category. So in this case, it's cats eating, or a cat eats fish, dog eats meat, Ultraman fights monsters. So it, it just ends up being a bunch of cats and dogs having a feast. And then in the background, Ultraman's like, did you guys bring any for me? And that's actually almost funnier than the prompt. This person's got a robot walking through the city. And these can be like really detailed prompts, as you can see here. This video shows a scene set in the 1950s where a T-800 robot walks down the street of an American city. The cityscape is full of retro vibes with vintage cars parked on both sides of the street and people dressed in medieval style clothing, including men wearing top hats and women wearing petticoat dresses. I don't know if that's medi- well, okay. I mean, that's an interesting combination. Um, and you've also got, like, aliens here, some sci-fi vibes going on. And then you've got something as simple as just two mechs from Pacific Rim fighting each other. So we're going to try to generate something here today based on both a simple prompt and a complex prompt. So let's just do something really basic. Let's do um, anime style Gundam. Actually, let's just go Gundam robots fighting in a futuristic sci-fi or science fiction city with aliens invading all around them. And let's just see what it does. We'll keep this really simple and to the point to see what the interpretation of the AI is. Then we'll try to get increasingly complex as we go along to add some detail to the background to the foreground and to the actions of the characters that we put into the video. So let's hit generate video. So now that it pops over to the mine section, it will tell you, at least right now while it's in development, uh, how many people are ahead of me. And it's expecting me to wait for five minutes. And as this tool becomes more popular and more people become aware of it because it is free right now, the number of people that you're waiting in line before your video gets rendered will probably increase depending both on the popularity, the time of day, and what day of the week it is, like a lot of these tools. But for right now, because I'm doing this like really, 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 really late at night, uh, there's not too many people on. Previously, I generated like some weird ones, like this is supposed to be in a Japanese anime, the camera slowly zooms in on a space marine marching towards the camera. The background's on fire as if in an apocalypse. Didn't quite nail the Space Marine vibe, but it did give me, like, a sci-fi soldier from the future. It, it looks like one of those B-movies that you would see on the sci-fi channel. And then after that, I said, uh, create a high-resolution video of a futuristic battle mecha being dropped from a spaceship onto the battlefield at night. The background is the charred ruins of, a of an alien city, alien or soldiers battling each other all around. It's raining and the water reflects the neon lights of the laser battle going on. And as the mech lands, it blasts, you know, with its laser arm, a, a laser blast past the camera. It, it kind of nailed some of that. There's definitely an alien landscape in ruins. There's alien soldiers fighting all around. I don't know that the, that the robot that it created looks like a mecha. It kind of looks more like a robotic dick. But, you know, that's the, the thing with learning any new AI, like especially ones that are text-based, is learning how to describe what you want to it 
in the way that actually gives you the results that you're looking for. So I could, in theory, then copy this little line of text here and try to refine it to get a better result from what I'm telling it. Or if I really like this, I can just click this download button and save this video for later. Although right now, it just has the watermark of Heluo AI and Minimax. Because again, this is in beta. I'm sure eventually this is gonna stop being free. Most of these tools start out free while they're testing everything and getting people to like run it through its paces. And then eventually they're gonna be like, you get five generations a week. And then otherwise you're gonna have to pay us an exorbitant rate. Unfortunately, this does take a bit of time. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna kick back and relax a little bit and I'll cut to when this video has finished rendering. All right, so the video has finished rendering and it's not, it's not quite what I was envisioning with Gundams fighting each other. They definitely look pretty much like Gundams, except for Jerry over here, who looks like a Gundam mixed with like a futuristic robot rabbit. Uh, and the aliens invading ended up just looking like the Gundams are having like a trippy rave, but like they're, they're waiting for the rest of the robots to show up before they start dancing. So maybe not quite what I was going for. So let's just, let's keep this even simpler in the next prompt that we do. So what kind of thing do we want to do? There's like a hamster drinking a little coffee. There's a dragon landing. There's a panda eating some bamboo. Let's go with something fantasy based. A wizard reading an ancient tome inside of his magical library while sitting in a giant leather chair, looks up from what he is reading as the camera pans closer and then suddenly casts Fireball. And let's see what this does. I'm not even really setting a setting or anything. I'm just, it's a wizard. He's reading a book in a library and he looks up and he's like, Fireball! So it'll start rendering this out in about five minutes or, you know, whenever the one person is uh, in ahead of me in line is done getting their video rendered. All right, that actually went a little bit quicker than I thought it would, and it kind of, the simpler you get, it seems to be producing a better result, at least for the things that I'm interested in making. Although it looks more like somebody like sneaks in and like casts a fireball to, to freak the wizard out, and he's like, how dare you, Jeremy, and then he zaps somebody who is standing off screen. So that, that kind of turned out all right. You could probably refine that with some more specific instructions on where you want the fireball to be, to be cast. So what else sounds good? There's like a weird egg thing. What's this egg? Oh, it's just a promo for the company's name. Um, This is just an astronaut riding a unicorn on the moon. I can respect that. I still want the mechas to fight, so let's do two anime mechs fighting in a ruined, destroyed city. It's raining, and the rain reflects the neon weaponry and laser blasts. And let's see what that does. Okay, so this next one is done. Let's see what we got. It, I don't even know really what to say about this. This doesn't really even look like two mechs fighting. It looks like two mechs desperately trying not to get turned into paper mache. All right, well. Let's just say, like, two robots kung fu fighting in the background is a massive bucket of fried chicken 
that's overflowing with chicken, gravy, and mashed potatoes. Then everything explodes with an explosion of flavor. And we'll just do this one as like the gag to end out this uh, this video about this particular AI generator. It's okay. I mean, the main thing that I've had as an issue with a lot of these tools is that with the time spent, especially with the ones that generate images or like logos, with the time spent trying to like really dial in on like a prompt to generate the exact image that you want, you could probably just make it yourself if you're an actual designer. So there you have it. All right, let's see this delicious KFC commercial that I've inadvertently made. So robots, kung fu fighting, excellent. And there's just a giant bowl of chicken. All right, this actually weirdly turned out correct. I don't know why this one out of all of the videos actually worked out. Maybe there's like a small bias towards advertising hiding in the background of this and no small part that I feel a little bit snacky right now after seeing a commercial for some fried chicken when I was going to the restroom. Uh, that said, this has been a brief look at the conch video AI system, also known as the Hey Lua, Luo AI. I'll put both of those in the video description just cause I'm not sure which one like people are actually going to be searching for. Um, I, I found it because it was called like video Oh one from this company and it's a, it's a decent AI and I think it's fun to play around with these in their early stages while they're free. But like a lot of these services, this is probably going to become a paid service relatively quickly after they've worked out some of the kinks and bugs and they get some fairly predictable results. Otherwise, I've been your host, Larry. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and I will catch you next time. I'll put a link to this in the video description below.